throwing away rubbish is synonymous with any consumerist society, and Hong Kong is certainly no different. Whether it's a piece of used tissue paper or an old sofa, we expect someone to haul it away for us the next day, almost making it seemingly magically disappear. While waste disposal is not the most glamorous job, the sheer logistics that is required to keep our rubbish tucked away is something any city cannot do without. Every day, nearly 10,000 tons of municipal waste is transported to refuse transfer stations, like this one in Sha Tin, before being shipped off to one of the three main landfills. This truck will make its long journey to Ta Ku Ling Landfill in the Northern New Territories, where just a small fragment of our daily waste will finally meet its resting place. Well, it's Saturday morning and all I want to do is sleep in. But daddy said no, we got to run that rubbish truck again. Well, run that rubbish truck. Run that rubbish truck. Run that rubbish truck. Run that rubbish truck. Well, it's Saturday morning, they got to run that rubbish truck. Lifting barrels and raking grass. Hauling shingles and broken glass. Don't you know your mama needs cash? Let's go, son, you got the bus, Joe. Well, daddy, won't you give us a break? I can't work no more, cause it broke my rake. Run that rubs truck. For a more scenic route, waste from the refuse transfer station in North Lantau Island is transported by ship to Nimuan Landfill in Tun Mun. But if current levels of waste continue, the remaining landfill space will reach capacity within eight years' time. Reducing waste and rethinking consumption patterns will become ever more essential in the near future. For the South China Morning Post, this is Edwin Lee.